Good afternoon, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Oh, oh and welcome a great back. Start. And welcome back. Was it the size that got you? It's the size, a little bit smaller. The Bandit Golf Ball we are using today. So if you've come over from James's channel, you will see James is leading. He has not won, like he tried to claim earlier. But we're testing this golf ball a little bit smaller than regulation. They didn't hear what I said earlier. Do you know why? The audio wasn't working. No. So a ball that's smaller than standard, so it is an illegal ball. So it is saying the claims are that it will get more distance. And we did see for James, it certainly did gain a little bit more distance. He hit it past me, which we know is a rarity on the channel. So we're going to now test it against the short game. So we are going to test it against the Pro V1. And I will try and get some Trackman numbers if the Trackman is not being used right now. But we're going to see what the difference will be because last week we tested or a couple of weeks ago now we tested the pro v1 against the og golf ball yep the og golf ball was a four-piece golf ball and it performed a little bit better than the pro v1 so numbers wise it did get more spin the problem was obviously the casing was a little bit cheaper than a pro v1 and it did cut up a little bit more here is the elusive pro v1 the premium golf ball but if we put them next to each other you can certainly see difference in size in color in everything and that's really what we're trying to look at here today are the gains off the tee and on your longer stuff benefiting you more than what you could get around the green we know that around the green is where a lot of people do lose shots and if we lose control of our spin it's gonna be very hard to chip the ball close so James is going to go with a Bandit Golf Ball. I'm going to go with a Pro V1. We're going to play multiple shots. We've just hit a couple out on the golf course. So we have it two pitch shots in. And so far, I am back to level. Oh, you can't. Well, I'm going to get that in there. I'm going to put it on. James hit it to around about 40 feet, but he was on the green. But I was around about... Are we about, talking bunker shot or not? I was about 20 feet. We'll branch over the bunker shot. I don't remember playing one. That is the cover inside. So the Bandit. And again, you can see that's a two-piece ball. There you go. That is a two-piece ball. That just looks very, very cheap construction-wise and a cheap uh, sirloin cover, sirloin loin yes. steak. Sir, sirloin I'll never be able to steak. say that, I don't think. Sirloin steak. It's certainly not a fillet like the Pro V1. So we're going to go to this front left flag here now. The hardest flag in the world. Okay, I can see there. A little bit of grip on the second one. It has ran and ran. Right. You sure you don't want to go for the other flag? We could say it was going for that flag, so it was a great shot. But there you can see it did have a little bit of a grab. This green does run away from you on this angle. But again, we know what kind of feel we're going to get. We know what kind of spin we're going to generate. Here, James is probably going to have to change his shot. Well, I, I like to play him high anyway, don't I? But this is one of the things we've said. So with this golf ball, you do have to change your approach. So we're going to go for a greater landing angle now rather than thinking about the spin more up much more towards the flag and again very difficult shot that's going down towards chris's i would say that is me back in front i don't believe so we're going to get down there and you check don't that. Believe so. i think he's gone further there but james ball landed i have got actually some ball residue on there as well even though i went for the landing angle still a little bit of uh saline in those grooves a little bit of uh, on those grooves so yes again we can see here as we walk over as the camera focuses i think james is a little bit further away so i think that would be sneaking to one up and we're now going to play more of a bump and run and again see the difference is where we're going i to think have this to is a, this is a dead heat oh, it's, mm. con it's controversial i'll come round to another angle for the fans to decide yeah i'll give you that thank you very much right so Short-sided chip here, it's going to be very difficult for James potentially to control that. Oh, it's so attacking at that. Not a bad shot. It's contact-wise, centred. Contact was good, there was no spin whatsoever, but even a Pro V1 is going to be long there. I've just gone way too attacking on that, unfortunately. Way too aggressive. And he's already down in the match after a superb comeback. Right. That's a bloke who knows what golf ball he's playing with. Again, just lands a lot softer, comes off softer off the face, and that's one big thing. The firmer golf ball, we get a sirloin cover. If we're going to figure out what get that some is. peppercorn on that. <laughs> comes off way too fast. And that's the thing, guys. If you get a firm golf ball on these kinds of shots, you might be closer in two, you might be here, but then it's very hard to judge your distance, especially coming into the winter when the greens are going to be soft. Still then, right, where do I land it? If it doesn't land on that bit, it's going to run and chase past. 
and we're gonna have much more longer ports coming back and that's not what we want but we're gonna go now and we're gonna go over to the new area at waterfront Ooh. which is over there in the wilderness are we really we are gonna go over there james i'm gonna hit a couple of pit shots into the green we're gonna see zoom in see what kind of spin we get what kind we're of control what, we're, gonna, we're gonna zoom in thank <laughs> you james and we're gonna see what it does on the green we're gonna see what the proximity is two shots each i'm saying with the pro v james with the bandit and I'm two up, so James needs to win both shots. I like to say I've got no idea where he's brought us here, but I think it makes sense to him. Great view. Right, we're in the wilderness. New pitching area. James is up first with the bandit, so we're going to go to the first flag, which we've just chipped to, which is at 65 yards. So. James, I've got you the 50 degree. Thank you. A nice flighted one in here. So. Into the wind a bit. Into so you normally you'd play this and spin back a bit. Yeah, so let's see. That is all over it. Oh! All over it. Did that just spin back yeah, as well? Yeah, it did. That did. Have a bit of backspin. James is fired up with that ball. Let's see the strike. Right out of the middle. I'm not sure we got all of that, Chris. I think your phone might have done one, but we can see where they are. I'm on the right, Chris is on the left. So back to one up, final shot, back right flag here. So back right flag. Okay, so pretty much where you've just hit it. Yeah, exactly. I've got my eye in now. Better flight. Up that right side, and that's stopped yeah. exactly where it landed. So plenty of spin on that, as we'd expect again from a mat. A good strike. I mean, all you're doing is playing a shot with a Velky Wedge and a Pro V1. You should essentially be quite good at this. You would have thought. <laughs> yeah, but here is your wedge. Thank you. So to that flag is 85 yards, guys. So that one back right. This is to take it to a playoff, is it? This is to take it to a playoff. I'm just going to zoom in. I'm not even going to get James's swing on here. 85. 85. Camera is primed and ready. Cut. It's giving it a lot higher. Cut. Cut. It's an 85 yard pitch shot to cut. Oh, I tell you what, Christopher. Oh, dear. It's Your even, boys have taken a beating on this new area. It's even rolling back. Thank oh, you. Guys. Thank you. James has outdone himself. How many more golf balls to hit over? So we're going to collect them and we might have one shot to finish off. <laughs> Can we have a moment's appreciation from there to there? Back spin. Yeah, we'll take that little uh, actual little pitch mark as well. Chris's wasn't too bad. Then mine to the first one was down there. I'm actually closer to the 85 yard one, which uh, you'd think oh, would be more difficult. Where should we go, Chris? Should we go? You can pick since you've clawed back into the match. Where do you want to go? Let's go down in this bowl to this one here. Oh, what a okay. shot. One ball, one chance. One ball, one chance. Winner takes all. Loser buys the fear. James looks like he's playing at a sensible shot. He's not going up. Okay, Again, just not quite the check you would anticipate. That was the landing angle that I wanted. But that's run out to about six feet. It was a great shot, but the door, one would say, is the jar. To here, right. Come on. It's take a god awful bounds. That might still be you, you know. Which would be very frustrating if it was. It was a great fight, stopped as I wanted, but I don't know what it's hit to kick it right. But, ladies and gents, I think we have a clear winner. And it is. I think we'll have to pace this out. One, two, three. One, two, oh, three, yeah. four. All right. <laughs> no, James has won there somehow. I don't know how. It's very devastating. But the bandit ball, guys, you might get more distance, but I don't think it's going to help you improve your no, game. No, me either. But guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again, hopefully without James, later in the week.